migration is not a peculiar behavior of only birds. There are different migratory species on the land, seas, and even in our bodies. One of these species is the salmon fish. The fish lays its eggs in shallow water of the rivers in North America. Eggs hatch into tiny fishes. The small fishes grow for several weeks before they start to advance down the rivers for a long journey towards the ocean. After spending two to four years in the Pacific Ocean, they mature. They then start a journey of about 1,500 kilometers back to the same streams where they were born to spawn. This exhaustive journey takes several months to be completed. On their journey up the stream of the river, they have to swim against the flow of water. They even have to jump over waterfalls to cross them and continue their journey. Many fishes couldn't finish the journey because they are fished by humans and animals. When salmon reach the shallow water where they were born, females spawn their eggs which are fertilized by males. In most cases, after laying and fertilizing their eggs, the salmon fish becomes too exhausted and they die. Scientists have been trying to understand the impound behavior of salmon fishes. How was this instinctive behavior developed and genetically passed on to later generations? Could Mother Nature do that? How could a salmon fish find its way back in a journey of thousands of kilometers through the ocean and water streams? Scientists think that the fish remember its way back by using a magnetic map. The sun as a compass or by tracking waves on the beach through infrasound and smells. Whatever the mechanism, could salmon fish develop this amazing capability by chance? Isn't it more conceivable to believe that God has ordained for the salmon fish to go through this interesting journey and he has guided them to do so? God, who has ordained and then guided? <laughs> 